So this is how to take a second half when you're not sure about the full game. Well, you can look at the game itself to see who's controlling the game, okay? And that's what I'm going to explain in this video right here. Okay, as for this example, we're going to use Marquette and Creighton. You're going to see that Creighton is actually controlling this game as I fast forward it here, okay? It's a 17-22 game. Creighton's up with six minutes to go. So this game was pretty much a five-point game in Crane's favor. Okay, so they're controlling this game. As we go, now it's a one-point game in the first half. You see this? In the first half, it's a one-point game. And then it's a three-point game with 17 seconds here. Okay? So pretty much Creighton was up this whole entire way. One point game, two point game, give or take, with one minute to go with a seven point line. Marquette is a Marquette's a seven point favorite here. Okay. Now you see this first half, it's 33 29. Okay. The first half is going to be three and a half or four. It's always half of what the game line is, give or take, depending on if they shade the line. But this is ex exactly how the underdogs will always play for the casinos because what's going to happen here is the public is going to see this and say oh if they didn't watch the game they're going to see this and say well i got minus seven so I'm, i can go ahead and double up and take minus three and a half in the second half to get it back to this game line thinking that they can hit both bets well what's going to happen is you see here Crane's going to make adjustments going into halftime because they know they were already controlling this game. And Marquette basically got lucky to cover this first half or even push. Okay, so the public, like I said, is going to double up and they're going to lose both bets. Okay, so that's why these, these underdogs play for these casinos because they know that they're going to come through. You know, that's why these lines are set up like this. So you see this? Crane's still in this game. They're not going away, and then they end up winning by six here. You see? See, this is how they work. These lines, they basically got the public to double up. So it was a head fake. They let, they let the public double up on this 10th ring team here. Okay, so they lost twice because of the fact that Crane was completely controlling this game, and it showed in their style of play. They were... You know, controlling it, dominating Marquette the first half, and then Marquette ended up covering and backdooring it in the first half. So, like I said, this is a big volume game here. The casinos like to play with the public here, all right? They covered the first half. They let Marquette cover the first half, but then they took all that money from the game and the second half. So, that is how you... Figure out these first half, these game lines, second half lines. All right, you got to find some type of fluctuation in the market, you know, and use these, these uh, top ranked teams as leverage, okay? You have to learn to use these top ranked teams as leverage because these underdogs will play for the casinos, especially when an underdog is controlling. You can see. You know, you can see that they're controlling this game in the entire first half. And then Marquette comes back. There's that little fluctuation where they cover the line uh, lucky. You know, they get real lucky. But don't give up on that underdog because they will come through in that second half. But you have to make sure that it's back to the game line because then you know what the line makers are doing. You know they're trying to get people to double up. So hope that helped be making some more videos on some different topics and strategies.